Welcome back to Red Raider Weekly. I'm your host, Robert Giovanetti. After a five-game road trip last week, the Red Raiders return home to finish out the regular season against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Highlights coming at you. Game one on Friday evening, a slugfest with the two teams combined for 21 runs and 32 hits. We pick things up in the bottom of the first. David Pye is up to bat with the 1-0 lead. The freshman drives the full count offering into left center plating Reed Redman and Baird Barnes for the early 3-0 advantage. Two ribbies for Pies for his seventh multi-RBI game of the season. We head to the second. Red Raiders leading 3-2. That is until Barnes connects on the 0-0 pitch. Driving it over the wall and left, the center fielder's team leading ninth home run of the year hands the Red Raiders the 4-2 lead. Texas Tech with the one run in their half of the frame. On to the top of the fourth, the Red Raiders up by three, but the Cowboys change all of that with a five-run explosion, including this two-RBI double off the bat of Dane Phillips down the left field line. OSU with six hits in the inning to grab the eight-to-six lead. But Texas Tech answers in the bottom of the fourth, bow out to belly up with the bases loaded and one out. The sophomore lines the 2-2 offering into right center field for the base hit. Stephen Hagen and Paez come across to score, and we're tied at eight through four full. And we head to the bottom of the fifth. Nick Popescu digs in with two aboard and one out. The switch hitter slices the 2-0 pitch just fair down the left field line. It rattles around in the corner as Redmond comes in to score easily from second. The RBI double from Pops and Tech goes back on top, 9-8. And we move to the seventh. The Red Raiders clinging to the one-run lead, but the Cowboys answer with two more runs, including this Andrew Heck two-out RBI double into right field. The sixth OSU extra base hit of the ball game, and the Cowboys regain the lead 10-9. But no quit in the Red Raiders as they return the favor in the bottom half. Popescu tallies Tech's 16th hit of the night with a seeing eye ground ball through the hole on the left side. Redmond rounds third and heads for home plate, sliding in safely as he plows through the catcher, Jared Womack, to tie the score at 10. Neither team able to scratch the scoreboard in the eighth, and we head to the top of the ninth. John Neely making his team leading 27th appearance of the year. Two on and two outs for the left fielder, Heck, and the senior bounces one up the middle for the base hit. The runner scores from second, and it's 11-10 OSU. The Cowboys then quiet the Red Raider Bass in the bottom of the ninth to hold on for the win as Neely suffers his first loss of the season in two innings of relief. Tech drops to 31-23 and on the season and 10-15 and in league play. 11-10 is your Friday night final from the law. We pick up Saturday's game in the top of the first. Devin Shines leading things off. The junior gets the Cowboys on the board early with a solo shot to left center. OSU with three runs on four hits in the frame. Three to nothing, Oklahoma State after a half an inning played. But the Red Raiders respond in the bottom half. Redmond digs in with no outs and a runner on second. The Plano product lifts the 2-0 pitch in the shallow right center. It gets past the right fielder. Tomlinson comes in to score and Redmond coasts into third with the RBI triple. Still in the first, Barnes up to bat with no outs and a runner on third. The sophomore gets a piece of the 2-1 pitch and drives it down the left field line into the old bullpen for a two-run shot. RBI's 36 and 37 as Barnes' 10th home run of 2011 not sings up at three apiece. We head to the home half of the fourth. The Red Raiders up four to three. Hagen in the box with two on and two outs. The junior hits one off the end of the bat in the right field. Tomlinson is waved around third, scoring easily from second and it's five to three Red Raiders. Tech's final runs of their big fourth come courtesy of Andre Wheeler. The freshman continues the two-out splurge as he serves one to shallow center. It drops in for the base hit as two runs come across to score. Four runs on four hits as Texas Tech jumps out to the 8-3 lead. The home team puts the game out of reach in the bottom of the fifth. Hagen drives in the final runs of the frame as he goes opposite field again with a bloop single and the right center scoring two. The Washington product with a 3-for-5 performance for his 13th multi-hit game of the year, and it's 11-3 Texas Tech. The Cowboys make things interesting with four runs over the next four innings, but this time Neely takes care of business, getting Widenauer to chase the 0-2 pitch for the strikeout to end the game. Mossick notches his fifth win of the year, becoming the first Tech freshman to win five games in a season since Miles Morgan accomplished the feat in 2006. Tech 11, Oklahoma State 7 is your Saturday night final from Lubbock. Coming up after the break, head coach Dan Spencer will recap games one and two in our post-game chat with the head coach. A little later in the program, junior reliever John Neely talks about some of his success this season. More Red Raider Weekly coming up next. <laughs> 